Kia ora, ko dia hau, how am I? Welcome to Homemade Let's Cook. It's that time of year when we're starting to think about Anzac Day and of course Anzac Biscuits. Now we've done Anzac Biscuits traditional style on the channel before, but today we are making some fruit and nut Anzac Biscuits just for something a little bit different. So we've done a little bit of prep work here and I'll tell you what I have got. I've got two tablespoons of chopped peanuts. Now they are the type that are in those small packets in the supermarket, so you don't have to chop them yourself. Our other nuts we're using are macadamias. I've got 50 grams of those and I've chopped them. 50 grams of cranberries and I've chopped those as well. What do you know it? 50 grams of sultanas, they're chopped too. And surprise, surprise, 50 grams of desiccated coconut. You could use long thread coconut if you wanted to. I've got two thirds of a cup of sugar and I'm going to pop that straight in to one cup of rolled oats. And they are not the quick oats, they're the traditional oats and also three quarters of a cup of plain flour. Just gonna give those a bit of a stir around and then we're gonna add in the nuts. Now on the stove, just before I came to air, I melted 150 grams of butter with one tablespoon of golden syrup. And into that, as we traditionally do, I added two tablespoons of boiling water, which had dissolved into it one teaspoon of bicarb soda or baking soda. Now my brown sugar's just got a few lumps in it, which tends to happen to brown sugar. So I'm just, uh, just pressing those out. Um, the oven is on 180. So I have that ready and raring to go. And I've got a couple of trays ready as well with baking paper on them. Okay, so chopped nuts, macadamias, sultanas, raisins, and desiccated coconut. Give it a bit of a stir. It's going to be very attractive looking biscuits. Oops. I think it'd be a nice mixture for a muesli bar as well, in actual fact. All right, a bit of a well in the center, and then we'll add in our mixture from the stove. So really, this is just your traditional Anzac biscuit recipe. Maybe some slight changes to, to the amounts, but um, just with the addition of your fruit and your nuts. All right, so give that a good mix around. And let's bring in one of the trays anyway. I'm just going to place spoonfuls of mixture and just flatten them down, not rolling these ones into balls because the mixture is quite wet. You're probably only going to be able to fit about four on a tray, but it's okay. They look particularly healthy. Maybe looks so deceiving. And they smell great. You certainly know once they've started to cook in the oven. So you want them to be golden brown and starting to have that um, darker brown around the edges. I'm going to fill up my other, tr other tray. And I'm gonna keep an eye on them in the oven as well. We're looking at maybe 12 to 15 minutes. But if you can, rotate them around halfway during cooking. And I'll see you again.
when they come out. So these are straight from the oven. They're an incredible size. I've ended up making 10 in total. I wish to make them a little bit smaller, but they're lovely and golden brown. I'm going to let them cool down on these sheets for a little bit longer and then pop them on a cooling rack. And then we're going to enjoy having them a bit later on. Thanks for joining me for Homemade Let's Cook. Please join me again. Kaki Tea.